Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Uh, we're going to do the fourth initiation for the Disciples of Anu. Uh, hop on in. This is going to tire us out quite a bit, but we're sort of on our way down to a Sinedrian Haven. So, you know, running on, on fumes is not a problem for us. Now this particular mission uh, is going to involve killing everyone, and I believe it's uh, it's going to be New Jericho. Question is, where are they? Ready, willing, and able. Just watching my cat. One second. No, mate, you're not supposed to be up there. Come on. Off you come. You can stay over here with us. Or not. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so I want to get Matcha up top so we've got some high ground visibility, I think. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. Ooh, he's got a scepter. I would, I would love to take all of this off him. Alas, it is not going to be that easy. I think we're going to have to I'm ready. bring our snipers up as well. Enemy spotted. Speaking of snipers, I've got one down inside. That's not a problem. What's our plan? Eileen, let's get you Making up. Haste. Especially when going up against heavy armor like New Jericho, Ready. sniping is kind of Moving vital. Um, you know what? Let's like the wind. Let's get quite a bit closer. Ready, willing, and able. More heavies in annoying locations but we can we can keep out of the line of fire maybe if we get Isaac across to here If you could see from there, why would you not be able to step out and shoot? That's the question. Send incisor across along the base. Amelia, let's get you here and think about maybe sending you up the outside and Nina just Advancing. here for now we do have armor break as a skill of course uh, which could be kind of vital but we'll we'll see what's needed let's see where they move Let's hope they come towards us, like, uh, single file, one by one, 80s action movie style. Oh, he's in a terrible place. Protecting humanity. Don't get out of my sight. Right, that sniper. It's going to be a right pain. We've got a decent line onto him there, so we could like set up a 
a double snipe thing and, and see what's going on. That's what I wanted to check. I wanted to see who that was. That is not a brilliant shot. If we go one space further. I'm on the move. Target located. Come get some. <laughs> and then back behind cover. Can't wait. Here comes the Phoenix. Right, Marton, you are responsible for your own safety. Isaac, you are responsible for Marton's safety. What's our move? Oh, the gun is too low to do anything like that. Oh, but if we back off... That's a little bit hopeful. Threading the needle! That's pretty incredible. Right there. What's our plan? Targeting. Don't think that was a hit. No. Very hopeful. But I'm still happy with what we produced up until then. Uh, Amelia, we're going to get you into the front here. That's fine. I don't mind if they're alerted and they come towards us, as long as they don't just sit on Overwatch. I'm here. Let's do this. Yeah, that's not going to do anything that we want. So let's back off and we'll just conserve our will points and everything. And over here for Nina, I'd love to get another Overwatch going that way. I'll be right there. Yeah, let's let's do it like this. It might be slight overkill, but he's in a really good position, so I just want to be cautious. Uh oh. This could hurt. Missed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We might not want to be up on top. Cleaning crew ready. Protecting humanity. You're gonna love this. All stars in sight. There we go. Marton didn't even need to take a shot. Okay, we've got a couple of choices for this. Here comes the Phoenix. Yeah, we can take a shot and then we can step back one. That's what I wanted to check. So let's kill this guy. Doesn't need to be a special shot. <laughs> Just in the leg. Moving to coordinates. And back we go. Receiving loud and clear. These might actually be a little bit close. I don't know. Ready to roll. I'm getting Nina into here. Channel open. I actually pull Isaac down one. And we'll get Nora over this side. Oh, 
Thunk, thunk, thunk. Ooh. Uh, we're going to have to onslaught to get back into cover. Which I'm totally fine doing. We'll also war cry for good measure. But yeah, that was a little bit further out than I thought. Up top. Yeah, knowing that there's those guys over there. The angle to maybe get a shot on them is not... Not ever going to be good. Sprinting to position. Okay, let's uh, let's get mature up here. Doing it. I don't think anyone's going to get up near him anytime soon. He's got quite a bit of mobility. Right. No one's going to come in, but just in case I got this they do. You can't really do Overwatch. Nora, you don't have enough oomph left. Kana, there's no point because anyone that comes in is going to have too much armor. Eileen, likewise, there's, there's no point. Oh, we could get you just tucked up here, actually. Is that going to put you at risk from this side? Don't know. Let's let's keep you where you are. I see the suckers. Taking them out. Pistol shooting. Return fire. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's a, that's a lot of armor to lose. Protecting humanity. So new Jericho plays like I play. Hazardously. I'm prepared. Uh, we can bash this one to death, and then we're still out of sight of this guy. Ah, Receiving. Let's have a look and see what the shot's like. <laughs> Shot works. Really don't want to get people too close to each other now. He's got one left. The other guy should be out. Oh, he's got. How? They must have reloaded. Well, who's to say? Eileen, please. Uh, do your best with this guy. There we go. So it's this one heavy left. He's got 140 health. So we can get like right up yes. next to him, bash him three times, because if we do an onslaught, Here. which we can do. Running. So bash. <coughs> that disabled his arm. I'm here. We need to move you a little bit closer On before way. we do onslaught. If this is how things will die. work eventually once we get some melee weapons. Ready. 
Just going around smacking things with the butt of your auto cannon. Nina, Eileen, and Nora have all gained levels. That's great. The Disciples of Anna are now aligned. All completed research is now shared with us. Oh, yes. Do you understand why your actions were necessary? Why the site is sacred? It is here nope, don't that the care. conditions existed which brought forth a better body with a free mind. One without the other is meaningless. The Exalted bids us understand. Why here? To fathom why the site is sacred is to fathom how other sites may become sacred also. I mean, conceptually, I like the idea of that, but it's all idiotic. Keep on this path, and you shall hear the voice of the Shadowed Hierarch, and after him, the wisdom of the Synod of Yearning. Much needed materials. A whole bunch of food. And... Research. Tiamat development. Iconoclast, which we just finished researching. Research the Anu religion, that's uh, tech and food. Research the berserker class. Research Mutation tech. Research Melee weapons. Research the priest class. The priest class is actually going to be really, really huge. And winged warframe. So reinforced bulkheads. The ravager. It's a ramming module. And a heavy cannon. I like the sound of the heavy cannon. And we can get the oracle and flares on the go. All right, we, we've got some things to consider. This has 50 piercing, but it does 100 damage. This does 160 damage, so it's intrinsically better. Because, I mean, it also does 6 virus, which is... It's actually pretty huge. Dagon's Tooth does 50 bleed, which is also pretty huge. So stab someone three times with Dagon's Tooth. That's a lot of bleed to get out. I'm going to get one of these. One of these. And one of these. Let's mix it up a bit. Uh, these need to come to the top of the list because we've desperately been waiting for melee weapons. Uh, in terms of the, the priest stuff, the redeemer's not really that interesting. But uh, let's, let's have a look through our people and see what we're going to do with them. Because we've got time to do this now. So Eileen, you have made it to level 6. Uh, let's call you Scale, and we'll have to call someone else Polish. So you're already uh, cross-classed. Uh, that means we can just not worry about any of this. Give you the key points. Eventually we're going to get you um, some kind of assault rifle. But generally you're in, in a really, really good place. Nina, you'll be Polish. Actually, do we want... Let's not call you Polish, because you're you're going to be close quarters. Let's call you Cavity. Ignore pain. 
onslaught and you're you're out of uh, willpower and stuff. Nora, we wanted to turn you into an engineer, so you're still going to be a while before you can do anything else. Uh, let's call you Anesthesia. I like that. That's a pretty cool call sign. Okay. But people still aren't really tired. Um, we've got enough in this to do one more uh, before we get absolutely walloped. So let's try and make it down for this haven. It looks like they're holding their own. So we might be able to manage it. They are just losing ever so slightly. Over the other side, the gift has landed in the remains of a gated community. Judging from the design, this place was built in the early days of the Second Mist, when the upper classes abandoned the cities. The place seems to be in relatively good shape, if somewhat overgrown. Perhaps there are survivors. The more our officers investigate, the stranger the situation gets. It's not entirely clear, but evidence seems to suggest the inhabitants of the gated community actually killed each other, following a dispute about an inheritance. The turrets, meant to defend the compound's walls, are turned towards the inside, and the lush gardens are full of shattered skeletons. The only thing really worth scavenging is the VR entertainment system. And that got us a bit of tech. Let's carry on moving the gift across. Yeah, it's definitely going to be potluck as to whether they make it or not. Marduk's Fist is completed, right. Who is going to be the first one that we give an actual melee weapon to Amelia. Really, really start things off. Kana. Mm, incisor re really implies it's going to be something else. I think it's going to have to be Cavity. Now we'll give it to Amelia, because Amelia has a space for it. Oh, that's that's heavy. That's fine. We'll give you some more strength. You've got the uh, the capabilities. And actually, you've got a little bit of extra, so we can we can afford to give you two points there, Amelia. Scavenging site. Uh, well, we're not going to send in Raphael all by himself, but knowing that that's there is pretty big. That Berith, where is it going? Is it coming back to the Behemoth? Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's returning. Cool. The team has made it in time. Uh, yeah, we've got enough time to do this. Let's uh, try and save them. So Marlton is going to be tired. He's only going to have three action points. Uh, but after this, we'll send everyone back to rest. Okay. Protecting key structures. On the move. What why did you just move like that? That's the weirdest move. Oh, it revealed one of them. Well they're through a <laughs> yeah. Moving up. Going this way. Yeah, cool. 
we can use them to scout out where the Pandorans might be. So it looks like we have some at the back, potentially one upstairs there. Matthew. Let's get some eyes eyes above. No, that's a sniper. Well that's that's handy. I'm fine with it. I would like them to be available for us to use, but you know, you have to have to use what you gotta use. Bring cavity across this way. Anesthesia will get you up here. This layout is pretty common for a lot of the Sunedrian buildings being linked together. You know what, let's, let's just put you on standby so it doesn't go back to you. And you, mate. I... I don't think you're at risk where you are, so it will keep you where you are. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. Bring Eileen across to hopefully get some sniping next turn. As I quick and maybe do the same with you. Let's try haste. it on the other side. I should really do something about your healing. What's the plan? And, uh, incisor. I think we'll just move you in. So far back. I'd love for you to go on Overwatch, mate, but there's nothing you can do. Okay, we have one guy coming in without a gun. One guy coming in with a gun. Myrmidon landing over the far side. We should be able to take that out without too much difficulty. Alright, Sinedrian guys, time for you to do something worthwhile. Was it still the Pandorans? They're getting another Myrmidon. No, down on this side. Alright. I'm here. Dash in to open up that wall. That's overkill. This is the right amount of kill. Here. Oh, that's that's so mean. That is so mean, game. Uh, Martin, there's no point in us quick aiming you. Disabled his head and his torso. Ouch. Yes. Let's see if we can just disable him. Inside. Come on, stand up again. There we go. 
don't care about shooting the Sinedrian thing. Our objective is not to save their structures, our objective is to kill all the enemies. Okay, can... What's our plan? We get eyes on this? Yes, we can. Ready to fire. What's our plan? Moving to position. Acquiring target. One less to worry about. Awesome. Eileen, please take a shot at the other guy. Now the Myrmidon is still over the other side, but if we've thinned all these out to the point where we really don't care about them. Enemy hit. Okay, mate, it is your job. Gotta keep going. To destroy its regeneration torso and then bash it once. Ready to fire. Did not do enough. Maybe we should jump down and bash it. Or we could jump down and bash this. Hmm. Oh, Nina can actually just step down and snipe it. Let's do that. So, cavity, create a cavity right in its face. Oh, you're not going to be quite close enough. Oh, that's... That's maddening, that is. Okay, can we... Get anyone else in position? Oh, we could maybe do an onslaught. Come in here and get forwards. If we do the onslaught like this, <laughs> to say what his arm, not his torso, I should have moved in a little bit. I guess that uh, Sinedrian guy is going to take a little bit of damage. Uh, we can jump to here and we can shout. Doing That's it. probably the best thing we can do. <sighs> it's all, all in the name of uh, helping them. Oh, look, the sniper coming to the rescue. No, he's not. Good job. Well done, soldier. Over here, I think we're just going right to bash there. this thing. And that is the last of them. Another Sinedrian Haven saved. Always good for improving our relations with them. Oh, Machu, Machu is so close to gaining another level there. You get uh, a decent rifle, a bunch of materials, and the attitude has improved. Failed to identify the origin, though. You seem to be genuinely on our side. 
and everyone here at Synedrion really appreciates that. Please understand that we are cautious with organizations such as the Phoenix Project, not because we're trying to be obstinate, but because we've had some pretty terrible experiences that we'd prefer not to repeat. You know that I have high hopes for an alliance between the Phoenix Project and Synedrion. So my advice is this. What would be really helpful right now would be a more direct demonstration of your support. That could really win some hearts and minds. I can get behind that. At this moment, we have a couple of really important projects running. The sort that could actually change the future, like improving our mist repelling tech, which may allow us to peacefully coexist with the new ecology, or deploying a new breed of modified plant to help us reclaim the planet for ourselves. Believe me when I say we've had a lot of debates about which approach is better, and there are some pretty opinionated factions forming. In any case, we're lacking enough people to support both projects at once, and it's a bit of a deadlock. So if you could lend a hand with one of them, that would mean a lot. Now last time we went with mist repellers, uh, so I think this time we'll go the planet is ours and we should take direct control of its ecosystems. So, you're more on Nikolai's side of this debate, are you? He's one of the Terraformers, the faction that believes in, well, I suppose you could call them radical humanists. They believe we should be unafraid to seize power for the people, to assert the supreme value of human life and civilization. Zara, on the other hand, oh dear, I'm involving you in Synedrian drama, aren't I? My yep. apologies. Good luck with the mission. Awesome. We have a diplomatic mission for Synedrian. Now, the guys are pretty knackered, so they're going to get some much needed R&R. Let's get both of these heading back over here. And uh, I'm afraid we have actually run out of time for today. So thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.